So my talk um, on um, in AACR um, is called Harnessing the Value of Mutational Signatures in Whole Cancer Genomes. Um, and the subject of my talk is really about what we can um, distill from whole cancer genome sequencing, bulk sequencing of mainly solid um, tumor DNA, um, but not, not just um, solid tumors, but largely solid tumors. Um, and uh, whole cancer genome sequencing gives us a complete picture of all the mutations that have occurred in a cancer through tumor genesis um, of all classes of mutations, not just um, substitutions or structural variation. It's all of it, including indels and copy number changes and so for every cancer genome that is sequenced, you get this complete picture of what's going on. And um, in my presentation, I, I start with presenting a whole cancer genome from one patient to show just how rich that data is. Um, and I compare it to what you would find if you did a standard targeted panel, for example, um, to show that there is such an uh, enormous richness in the data from whole cancer genome sequencing. Now, from the sort of collection of whole cancer genomes that have been sequenced in the world today and um, from, from collaborations between the UK, the US, Europe and, and Asia, um, you know, we've had something in the order of about six and a half, seven thousand whole cancer genomes. Um, and from this data, we've learned that actually tumors have patterns of mutation mutations called um, mutational signatures. And these mutational signatures are really informative. They tell us about the things that have been going wrong through tumor genesis. Some of those things are from within the cells, just happening in all our normal cells. Some of it comes from outside the cells from our environment. Um, and so it's very valuable to be able to see these mutation patterns because they tell us something about why that tumor has arisen. And some of those things may even be targetable. So um, my talk is all about um, mutational signatures, these patterns in cancer genomes and, and how we use them to read whole cancer genomes um, in order to, to personalize treatment to pay for patients. We also um, try to improve the ability to read cancer genomes by creating algorithms. But um, these algorithms require validation. So we've performed retrospective and prospective studies in order to understand whether they can actually predict um, anything in patients. So I, I talk a little bit about one of those algorithms in my presentation. And then I finish off with um, uh, some data on um, the 100,000 Genomes Project from um, the United Kingdom. So this was a national project um, involving um, all the NHS hospitals, so this is public sector service, um, NHS hospitals um, in, in England, without exception, really, it's every patient in every zip code in, in the UK was invited to participate in this study. And so we have um, sequenced and analyzed 15,000 cancer genomes. So I presented some of the data from those all those patients um, to show some of the patterns that are there and some of the sort of clinically valuable um, mutation patterns. Um, and then I finish off with sort of telling the stories of two or three patients uh, and how the mutation patterns have helped um, guide their treatment.